Looks like you're gonna beat us. <laughs> They're right behind. I saw their car. They're stuck at the light right now, over there. So we're gonna go. We're gonna. We gotta start moving. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is the Coke bottling plant. Let's go to the lid. Welcome back to the channel. On this episode, we have three more lids, and I decided I need to jump in the car because these were not planned lids. So we're in the car, and we're gonna head off into the prefecture of Miyazaki to find these three lids. Let's see what we can do. Made it to Mimata, which is the location of our first lid, nearby the Mimata station over here, which looks really tiny actually. Not much of a station, but curious to see what kind of trains they have here, so I might actually take it to the next lid. But first, we need to find where the first lid is, which is currently around here. Search for the lids, guys. It's in this area. Wait, you're going into the train station though. Why would it be inside the train station? What are you doing down there? Obviously, the lid's around the station, but where exactly around this station is it? All right, we're walking right now. As you can see with Pokemon Go, we are in the location. If I spin this stop right here, this is what the lid is supposed to look like, if you can see that. And uh, if we look around here, we don't see that lid actually. Maybe they just don't have it here. Time is of the essence and we need to move on to the next lid. I thought about it and I don't want to be in the car all day so I am going to go and take the train to the next lid. My friend is going to go drive the car to the next lid and we're going to have a race and see who gets there first. Hopefully the lid exists. I hope. Here's the keys. You can't catch. According to Google, it takes me 25 minutes to get to the next lid via the train. And for them, it takes 15 minutes if they drive fast enough. We'll see who gets there first. Race begins now. Driving along, trying to beat Michael. Here comes my train. Oh, it's so slow. This is my train I'm gonna be taking. Don't go by me. Let me get on. Oh, it's going by me. Come back. Come back. He's got 25 minutes, we have 15. All right, we are at the station. Now, I gotta walk, because it's not nearby the train station. So they're driving, so they're gonna get there pretty quickly. We're in the car, keep getting stuck behind traffic, but I think we still have an advantage, so let's see if we make it there before him. Oh, I could cheat and take a taxi right now, but I'm gonna walk over, because it shouldn't take too much long, maybe 10 minute walk. I walk fast, maybe I can run, but we're gonna see. They're driving, so they got a huge head start. Finally got ourselves a bit of open road. <laughs> Let's go. Unfortunately, I have to stop for a minute because we got a traffic light. Green. We're almost there. Yay. Yay. <laughs> How much further? <laughs> One minute. Okay. Again, stuck somewhere. I guess this is the disadvantage of being in a car. What is this? Birthday, wedding, anniversary. Look at the Hello Kitty. It's cute. So this is funny. What's up, homie? I wonder what it's like on the train. Michael, any thoughts? They should already be at the lid, but just in case, let's start to hurry up. All right, Takoyaki Station over there. This street's popping off a little bit. Tanaka Fruits. Oh, they have mango over here. All right, that's Miyako Anajo right in front of us. So that's the station Michael should be coming out of very shortly. I think we've definitely beat him here. Now the question is, can we find the Poke lid before him? I can't run, guys. I have a hamstring injury, so I can't run. I gotta find out exactly where it is right now. To the left. 500 meters away from the pokey lid. So, let's keep going. Oh, they closed the road we were meant to be on. So, again, slight detour. Not our day. Hey look, there's actually Michael right in front of us. He's actually gonna beat us. <laughs> hey Michael, wave to the camera. <laughs> Looks like you're gonna beat us. <laughs> They're right behind. I saw their car. They can't go anywhere. So, 
they're stuck at the light right now over there. So we're gonna go, we're gonna, we gotta start moving. So we can see Michael. He's actually now got the advantage because he can go on foot. Is that them? Oh shit! And there he is. And they're right there. Right there? Can't let that happen. Alright, we just went past him. Let's turn. I'm gonna get the first guys. They can't get out of the car in time. Oh, you're going too far. Where is it? Oh, it's gonna be up here. Okay, let's go, let's go. The other disadvantage of the car? You gotta park? I think it's in this park. So I'm gonna look here. They're still driving though. Should I follow them? Do I trust them? So, note to self. Don't look for parking when you're racing. I don't know where they went, but the lid's right here. Oh, victory is mine. I've reached the lid. Take a look down there. The lid's right here. One of the things that's really cool about this lid is all the color. Uh, obviously, Minior. I guess this Pokemon is called Minior, which I had no idea. All the colors here of all the Pokemon, that's really awesome. I love having a lid that has multiple colors and multiple Pokemon. This one has both of them. The looks of this is amazing, actually. Leave a comment down below if you know exactly what gen this Pokemon's from. I've never caught it. Maybe it's in gen 5, 6, 7, but I didn't get that far in those games, so... Maybe that's where it's from, but this lid, honestly, super awesome. The background, it looks like it's a night sky, and these are stars, because Miyazaki has so many palm trees, as you can see with Alolan Executor here. So the fact that it has palm trees in it makes me think that this must be the beach, because that looks like a dark sand at nighttime, and these are stars, and yeah, pretty cool combination. What it has to do with this location, I have no idea, but I love the lid, the color, the characters in it. It's super awesome in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. We got to head over though, because I'm hungry. I found a really cool place to eat lunch, so we're about to head off. Let's go. Cool lid though, love it. But we made it to a lunch spot and it's called Snoop Noodles. So Soup Noodles put together Snoop. I think it's funny because Snoop reminds me of Snoop Dogg. Soup Noodles all day, every day. Let's go. Well, this is a really interesting place. As I said before, it's called Snoop. Soup noodle. It's pasta. Pasta mixed with ramen. So right now I have a carbonara pasta, but in ramen sort of a mixed form. So as you can see here, it's like having pasta except like ramen pasta. So really curious to see what it's going to taste like. Tastes like pasta basically, except, well not like pasta. Flavor is like carbonara pasta. Chicken tastes really good. Oh yeah, it's torch chicken. You can taste that little torch at the end of it. So they flame torched it. I guess you can actually combine ramen noodles with pasta flavor and you get this. Actually really interesting, cool little combination place. Snoop, Snoop Dogg if you're watching, come visit here. It's your own place, Snoop Noodles. All right, I'm gonna finish this meal and then we're gonna head off to the next location, which is not a lid. Surprise! Well, noodles are done. It's time to go back in the car. We're on the road again. <laughs> really quick stop before we get to the location that I wanted to get to. We are at Lake Mike, or as I like to call it, Lake Mike, because it's my lake, but Let's take a look at it. As you can see, boom, there it is. Pretty vast and large. There's a mountain in the background. You got the lake down here. Nothing too exciting though, but I just wanted to stop here because it's nearby the location that we're trying to get to. So let's flip over and get over to our new location, shall we? Since we're in Miyazaki, they built a Totoro by the ocean. As you saw where we were at the beach in the previous episode, well, in this episode, we have another Totoro, this time in the mountainside. So behind me is the Totoro that I was speaking of earlier, and you're gonna check it out right now. Look at that, whoa, boom. Ah, uh, it's good to relax, isn't it? Out here in the countryside, they have a chair here I could sit on, so I'm just chilling while my friends go take their photo with Totoro over there. All that water and fields that you see, where you see rice fields and etc. etc. out in the Japanese countryside, it looks awesome. And you're like, oh, I want to be near it. 
I'm out here right next to it. Oh my God, it smells. It's fertilized. So it, obviously it smells like cow poop. But we're getting back to what we came here to do and that was find another poke lid. So 20 minute drive away in Ebino is the next lid. And that is the second and last one for today. It's full of torkel. So if you like torkel, this is your chance to see torkel lid. Hey guys! This video is sponsored by Coca-Cola. Just kidding, I, they don't pay me. That, as you can see here, is Coca-Cola plant. As much fun as it was to come over here, obviously you guys came here for the poke lid. So we're walking over and we're gonna find the last lid for today, right now. Okay, we're across the way. We made it to the other side. As you saw, it's not that far from the Coca-Cola location. We're gonna check out what's inside there actually, because it looks like there's maybe a little things that you can buy gifts and stuff, but out here, you got an outdoor station out here where you can do bikes and such. There's camping gear. Looks like you can camp or buy camping stuff for out here. It looks like they sell a little beef over there. A lot of things you can buy out here, but I know what. You didn't come for all that. You came for the lid. I know, I know. So the lid is right down here. All right, look at this lid. It's super colorful, so far away from the main Miyazaki area. But right now we're in Ebino, and as you see, the lid right here has Torkoal, Executor, and a cool background. The background obviously I think is the mountainside that we passed by to drive here because honestly Ebino Plateau is here and Kirishima Mountain which is sort of a volcano is out here too and I believe that's what the background imagery is. And Torkoal I think is chosen because of Kirishima and the fact that Kirishima is a volcano and Torkoal has the spout of obviously Torkoal is volcano like Pokemon. That's why they have it here so I think that's pretty cool to have a Pokemon that's related to the area. And look, their ground is orange or red, which makes me think of lava or fire. Pretty cool. Weird combination to have a fire Pokemon next to a grass Pokemon because this guy's gonna get burned to death. But in terms of the color and the visual, I love it. And what's really cool is the fact that these items, the smoke and Executor's top half, are going outside of the circle, unlike all the other ones. This one's full of ants. I guess there's a lot of grass and ants here and it looks like I'm camping in the background because I guess you can buy a lot of camping gear out here, but really cool. Love the color, love the area. Uh, really in the middle of nowhere. So we gotta get back really fast because we got a long way to go because tomorrow we got a lot more lids to do. So we gotta drive about an hour or two back to Miyazaki, the main area, so that we can get ready for tomorrow. But yeah, that's the lid. It's awesome. It's an Ebino. And if you wanted to know the Japanese name for Torko, it is Kotasu. That's what it says. And of course, this is our good friend Nashi. Special Ebino orange flavor right here for you guys. Ooh, very, very sweet. Very orange like. Mm. That's legit orange though. Very, very strong. Almost like they shoved an orange directly into that machine, squished it in there put some of that pulp into the liquid and made some orange soft syrup. We now have a total of 39 lids instead of the 40 that we were aiming for because we got one lid that's missing so we have to come back to grab that. Comment down below which one is your favorite today and honestly I think the first one that we saw with all the mini manure manure with that star Pokemon was awesome. I love the color of that one. But both lids actually today were really awesome. Not a disappointment. We're gonna see if we can get to Miyazaki before sunset, but there's no sun in the sky as you can see here. So I'll see you guys next episode. Stay tuned. So take me to the ocean or give me your last kiss. Do not doubt my desire. Where there's smoke, there's a fire Do I look like a fool now? Do I look like a fool now? I'm a hero I'm a hero For hire And now my heart beats power